All right, how are we all? Uh, so Steve here once again, AKA Running Englishman. He's simply here to inspire you to be the best and fittest version of yourself. Because if I can do it, then I'm sure that you can too. So today is threshold test day. I'll do a quick explanation of what that is. Um, it's basically to go and find your own zones and it's a test that I'm gonna try and take regularly now, like once a month to, to, find, to find your own zones personally to you. So uh, I'll, take my, I'll take my phone out to the field um, without this gimbal with just it in my hand. I'll run through it with you there. And then we're gonna we're gonna see what happens on that test and what kind of threshold I've got, and maybe give something for you to consider doing for yourself in the future. So don't go anywhere. Let's get out there. So here we are at my selected destination to do my threshold workout, my threshold test. So the plan is to do a warm up 15 minutes, which I'm doing right now. Uh, the threshold test is a 30 minute, kind of an all out run. Um, you've got to try and spread it out so you've got a good, strong, solid pace the whole time. Then afterwards, you take the last 20 minutes of your workout and you take the heart rate from that last 20 minutes and that'll be your threshold. Uh, then you enter it into the training peaks um, calculator, which is a trusted one, one of the top ones you can use. And it'll give you new zones. So I have no idea what mine's gonna be. Um, I do look forward to seeing the outcome of that. So the easy way to edit this is to, on your Garmin or whatever device you use, after the run, you can trim the activity down um, trim it down to, from 20 minutes to 30 minutes and then that'll get your calculation for your heart rate stick in a calculator and you, voila you've got your new zones now, it's something I'm planning on doing regularly now to get on top of my own personal zones but I'll probably make a separate video as to why I think that is a the better idea than using a random one that someone's guessed for you or all the ones you know you need to personalize it to yourself to get the max out you're running so Right, without further ado, I'll start my run. I'll update you little bits on the way around. I'm gonna be blowing out my ass a little bit, but um, try to work out how to do these tests accurately. And uh, I'll speak to you again in a few minutes. All right, so just a few more points to note actually before I go. Um, you wanna do this test with fresh legs. So you don't wanna be doing it after the day or after a really hard week, or if you've had a, really bad night's sleep or something, you want to be fresh and prepared to get accurate results for this. Apologies for the wind and the wobbly camera, but doing it by hand today. So yeah, be fresh, be prepared, know your day you're gonna do it, get yourself ready for it. And you can get some accurate zones for yourself. All right, I'm about to go. All right, I'll speak to you again in a moment. Wow, that's the first 10 minutes done. So it's hard, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna take my average heart rate from here on outwards. I'm struggling to get full breath. So in the right sort of area. As long as you can keep it up for half hour. All right, report back in a moment. Wow, this is really tough now. I've got like seven or eight minutes left. I do about 640 pace, I think. My legs feel slightly burning, but not killer. As long as you're giving it a bit. But if one keeps pace up, I don't know what my average heart rate is. But like I said, as long as you keep it up for half hour, it's a pretty reliable resource to go to. So I can't talk much. I'll report at the end. All right, ciao. Oh my good God. Oh, that is savage. All right, okay. I'm done. How's that? I don't know what the stats are yet, but I'm going and analyze it. I uh, feel good. Uh, 30 minutes, distance 4.49, pace 6.41, that's what it's saying. I don't know average heart rate, that's the main thing. So I wanna get home and analyze that. And then I can uh, come back on and uh, explain what the results are and what that means for me. And whether I think you should do it as well, because I honestly think this is the way to go. Like I said, I'll do, I'll do a separate video, but 
imagine someone trying to work out a calculation that suits the whole population. Yeah, that means the majority of that population fell on the right mark and it works for a lot of people. But what if you're outside of that? What if you're outdoing yourself by 20 beats either way? <laughs> or 10 beats, do you know what I mean? It's like, is it worth trusting someone else's knowledge when you can go into a bit of hard work and work yours out yourself? And you can train smart, run to a thresholds, train them up to be able to run faster at lower heart rate, so on and so on. But I'll go into more detail another time. All right, I'll see you when I'm back at home, all right? Peace. Right, well, I'm back. Um, been back for a few hours, showered up and fresh. Uh, legs feel all right at the moment. Um, that is a tough gig, I ain't gonna lie. That is a, that is a tough run at 30 minutes going hard like that, but essential, I think. Um, um, I would, like I said, I was gonna do another video another time more in depth about why I think this is idea, even though it should be fairly straightforward. Um, to work out your own zones is is a must really, isn't it, surely? Um, but anyway, let's, let's tuck into the results for today. So yeah, I've done the done the run today. I've edited the last um, twenty to the last twenty minutes. I'll stick the screen uh, on now of that. Um, and my heart rate average for the last twenty minutes of that test was one eight three. Um, I know it's high, but that's I, I'm seeing that as a good thing because um, you you can get that sort of high heart rates in sort of unfit people. But I do feel like I've been doing it long enough now. Um, and all the low heart rate training that I think I'm just built that way and some people are you know everyone's different it doesn't mean anything different to anyone else some have it low some have it high and I've always suspected that mine's fairly high and it's one of the reasons I wanted to explore this a little bit so um, I've got back using that data and actually I've had an email from Training Peaks which is great actually they actually send you a email through saying um, your new heart rate threshold is there and you choose to accept it. Um, they put it out at 173 on that, which um, I'm delighted with. Um, what I think happens is if you do a 60 minute time trial, then they will uh, do the max, will do the average heart rate for the whole thing. If you do like a 30 minute one or 20 minute one or something like that, then they, they do like 95% of it. So it turns out mine goes down to 173. And I'm going to put on screen now what that means for my new um, threshold zones to work with. So on the screen there is um, the new um, zones according to the training peaks. Um, I say it's a really trusted one. A lot of people follow it. It's been vigorously um, sort of worked on for years and years. So I've got to admit, I feel a lot better of these um, zones. It feel it does feel more like what I want to be doing and um, feel if this is what feels right, but I'm going to give it a good spin. So zone one, look, recovery um, is at 0 to 140 there. So my math is 143. And uh, to be honest, it did feel extremely slow and um, not really heavy breathing or nothing on that, which I know is the idea of math. And I've said it before, you know, I totally understand why everyone does it. And you're staying, you're staying low and you're getting better at that rate. But I want to try something that's a bit more um, to get the best out of the training that you can do, I suppose, and just try and try and up the game a little bit. So my new aerobic zone is 141 to 152. Um, nearly all of the training, is, which is 80-20, is done in the aerobic zone. Um, so if 152 looks like it's too much, I can play with it after, but I've got, a, I've got a, the numbers there to play with now. If, if 152 is making me start to breathe heavy, then I can always knock it back to 150, 149 around that area, but at least I know what area I can roughly be in now. When I go to do faster runs on Saturdays, tempo looks good, 153 to 153, 161. Um, they do call that a bit of a grey zone on there and should avoid it, don't do it so much. But we, we, when you want to go for a fast, proper fast one, you want to go up to the sort of zone five, zone four, sort of sub-threshold area. So I suppose a bit, a little bit like what I did today. Um, and do runs like that as your fast ones to hopefully see some improvement. And now you've got your, now you've got your different zones there, um, your different thresholds. You can actually work at them now and actually improve them by working just below them or on the threshold mark. And the more you do that, the more your body gets used to that and the threshold just changes and hopefully gets better and better. So that's the whole idea of this training. It just makes sense. Uh, if you're just a casual runner, then obviously just doing it low like the math was is... It's perfectly fine. It keeps you 
nice and fresh and that's the whole idea of it and people get better that way but I'll still be doing a similar sort of thing but using these numbers and just seeing if I can really get some improvements on there so I'm already seeing improvements from doing the math today so I'm hoping this can push me on even more. So all good um, this is about it for me today I will do an extensive uh, video about the differences between math and this and and only time will tell um, if this is working out for me if I'm tired out from it I'll have to just relook at it and start again with math or just look at something else but I'm feeling really confident with this um, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into it and giving it a few well a few months actually of giving it a go over the summer and trying to get some see if I can get some of my times down um, yeah plenty of um, time trials to come to come round and that now as well I'm just going to use use my time on Saturdays to do some of them and all that and we really start to get stuck into it now and see if we can make some of it so uh, that'll be it for me today um, if you haven't subscribed already please do that now hit the bottom there and follow it feels like a new start for this whole journey really I've done a lot of base building and it feels like a good place to be starting with doing this now so um, yeah I can, I can be here to compare the two and just see if this could be helpful for you and looking at your zones. Um, so that is it. I'll see you again soon. Oh, P.S. I did have my little baby girl yesterday. Lorelei was born safely yesterday. Um, I'm still <laughs> waiting for them to come home from the hospital. Everything is fine. Mother's doing well. And uh, yeah, really happy. Everything's great at the moment. So all good news. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, Steve-o.